I consider Anne and Mark the dynamic duo. I can't imagine one without the other. They're always thinking about ways that make a difference going forward. They have contributed a significant amount of their energy, uh, their experience, their talent, their time, and their money to, uh, to making Portland a great place to live and work. Mark and Ann are known for many things. I think, first of all, you could point to just the tremendous development that's happened, the green, sustainable, um, built environment. They're also known for um, taking on difficult projects. The development of institutions that help sustain who we are and what we want to be in, in education and culture. What's happening right now moving into the Pacific Northwest College of Art is so exciting and so thrilling. and. I'm not sure would have occurred in the same way without Anne. They make sure that Portland is livable for all. They care about those who live in poverty, communities that are underserved. The project they did with LifeWorks Northwest is that very kind of project. The history of their lives in Portland has been a demonstration of their willingness to constantly give back and to make the place, this place, a better one than what they found. Mark and Anne really exemplify that. Anne has had uh, relationships with a wide variety of critical institutions that add so much to our educational and cultural vitality. I think she is extraordinarily compassionate and kind and gives of herself to the community. And that's basically what it's all about. With Mark, one of the platforms that Girding Edeland has used throughout our history has been uh, to create great places to live, work, and play. He's also an avid cyclist uh, and really committed to the Portland way. Uh, I mean, a classic example. I used to ride a, a lot with Mark, and um, he called me up one day and he says, well, let's go for a ride in the morning. I said, sure, what time? Well, let's meet at 4, 4 a.m. Like, Mark, are you kidding me? 4 a.m. No, I'm not going to go out at 4 a.m. <laughs> they live their values and they put that into work that it's, an, it's a byproduct of what they did. So I think, for me, I think about their, their values and beliefs that they, they were true to them and that became the hallmark of Portland because they did it so well. Probably the best example is right here in the, in the Pearl District, the, uh, the brewery block where we created a mixed-use community with residential, with retail, commercial, and with office, and made it a really vibrant place within the city. I think it, it helped to extend the downtown into the Pearl District and to link and knit the Pearl District into the rest of the downtown community. That really is, represents Mark's philosophy um, in terms of, of how, uh, how we make the communities better. When you have people who have that kind of dedication and compassion, it's truly significant. At LifeWorks Northwest, uh, we are incredibly blessed to have just completed a facility for a project. Um, it's a program we operate for women and children. And I turned to Mark because we needed a new facility. Our lease was expiring and we just felt we could do better by the families we were serving. We just opened it in July and it now houses 35 families you know, are building their way back from addiction and they have this incredible place to live. And Mark came over and he brought his whole team over. I was so touched on the day we opened and he told me it's one of the projects he's most proud of. The Board of Realty could not have selected a better couple to spotlight who we are and where we're going. Congratulations Mark and Anne and thank you for all that you do to make Portland and Oregon a better place to live. We really appreciate and applaud your visionary leadership. Thank you.